Uh, thank you. Hi, my name is Natalie. I'm going to talk about Rust. Uh, is it good for Kubernetes? We know that Kubernetes usually um, used with Go since it's written in Go. And uh, there is la Rust language. It is popular nowadays. Uh, we can see it in a lot of blogs. People start asking questions what Rust is good for because it has a lot of advantages. So. Uh, what I tried to do uh, in this talk, I tried to build something simple. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a Kubernetes operator. And I know there are different opinions that some people say we should not use operators, but we should use them because this concept exists. And uh, for people who never use Kubernetes or maybe not working close with operators, I can say that this is something with a framework that led us to um, take a specific object type and automated. Um, with operators, we can have different processes with our cluster. And then using the API, we can um, work with the resources and objects around that to make sure when the certain events occur, uh, our operator can react. So with Go and Rust, there are lots of similarities. They probably very much simple languages, but there are some advantages that I personally like with Rust. So when I did this comparison, I can clearly say both of them can be used with Kubernetes. And then I chose the example of building the PVC operator, which will uh, just help me to manage PVCs in the cluster. PVC usually have uh, volume and volume claim, so my operator would just clean it, delete it, scale it, depends on the event that will occur. So I used regular deployment process, I just needed Rust environment, my cluster, I needed Docker, certain APIs, which is kubectl, to deploy things, and then with Rust I used two libraries, which is something, again, I like with Rust, that they still have limited amount of libraries, and these two libraries are pretty much uh, well maintained. They're very popular in open source. Uh, Kubernetes, uh, Kubernetes, excuse me, uh, has a huge adoption, and API is actually what powers kubrc. Um, and then I took the documentation on Kubernetes and best practices how you deploy the operators. So there is no rocket science; it's already documented. And I, by following those steps, I started building my operator. Uh, this is the example of the, uh, how, my, how I would do it with Rust, how I uh, define my cube client, how would I initialize it. Um, this is, again, um, pretty simple. Uh, and then I look through the libraries, how would I define my controller, because in my controller I want to include all the functionality that my operator will do. And um, obviously I need to research like what the PVC API look like, does the Kubernetes has the support, it ha currently, is, as I said, it's a pretty active library. And this is how my controller ended up like, being developed. There is also, this is the main function. We can add error handlers, which are not on the slide. We can have config hand handlers, which probably that we should be doing since we're working with a lot of configs. Uh, people who work in Kubernetes are probably familiar with that practice. So basically, just by defining controller, having my config, initializing error handling, and then calling the client, uh, this simple logic, it's it's super simple operator uh, that was implemented. I got to the result I wanted. I package it with Docker because uh, there are still uh, like updated versions that Docker can package the code with uh, creating basic container. Obviously, Docker build is the command I use it to publish to my Docker Hub or ECR, and then simply applying that to the cluster. Uh, got me to my running operator. On the side of the slide, you can see the spec, which has simpler persistent volume spec and volume claim spec. And then uh, if I use it locally, like this example, you can see my operator just runs. And then if I have two PVCs deployed to the cluster, um, running my operator on the way uh, on the previous slide will get me to great operator. And here is the last talk presented by people from Google who actually built Kubernetes saying that Go and Rust are both great for achieving the same results. So if you're planning on playing with Rust and using Kubernetes, you should try this as well.